What is an enemy? Is it simply those who wish us harm? Undoubtedly, our enemies want to see us harmed. But sometimes this applies to our friends too, born out of jealousy or greed. Or is an enemy someone that hates us, hates who we are and what we stand for? Or is it someone who schemes and plots our very downfall, no matter their like or dislike for us? At this point, I do not know. But what I do know is that I see them everywhere. Enemies in my halls. Enemies man my walls. And enemies march along our borders. The line between friend or foe is now blurred. And reading them is akin to reading a scroll from 50 yards away. With each passing day, friend turns to foe. And foe turns to friend. Every letter from the borders stokes news of troops and marching, of smithies smoking, and of spies slipping into our land. It seems as though we are surrounded by the enemy. But I cannot despair, for we are the mighty Seleucids, and I am the great Antiochus. I trust Ariathus to finish the Ptolemies in the Aegean, I trust myself to finish them along the Nile, and I trust my son to take the fight to Cappadocia. Armies now gather to fight Bactria and put an end to those snakes. So I see now that our enemies are not problems, but opportunities. Opportunities to stamp our authority and legacy for the whole world to see. And now, our enemies are gathered. Our opportunity is great. Now is the time then. Time to seize our opportunities. Once and for all. For the great Seleucid Empire. For our legacy. Seize our opportunity. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Seleucid campaign in RIS, episode 13. So let's hope it's not unlucky, number 13 here. We have pretty much destroyed the Ptolemies, uh, and we are, you know, going to go down the Nile. I'm going to use Antiochus the first for that, the great Antiochus Sota, an absolute beast of a man. Very, very good commander. Look at that influence he's got as well. He's not too bad at management either. He can do everything, but he is a legendary commander at this point. Very legendary indeed in our empire. Well, I hope you all had a great Christmas if you celebrate it. If you don't, I hope you had a great December. And I hope you had a great new year as well. We are in the new year. So uh, I can't wait to bring a lot more content to you guys this year. I know the content has been a bit sparse through December, but uh, yeah, busy period. Very, very, very busy period, especially seen as a, I was pretty much either working uh, on a day or at a family gathering. So <laughs> there was really very, very little time to do any recording. So we are back and hopefully you enjoy this episode. Now, priorities wise, I thought it would be a good time to kind of talk about our priorities a little bit and where we're going, what we're, what we're aiming for going forward. Obviously, the goal in the end was to reunite Alexander's empire. And honestly, we aren't too far away from that. Not too far. Um, we have taken uh, all of the Levant down through Judea and obviously Alexandria up here as well. And we are going to keep going down the Nile to try and finally rid the world of the Darn Ptolemies. So that is one priority that we've got right here. They do have a settlement over here, which I'm going to send a bit of an army to and then send that army north to try and take on Cappadocia over here. Now, Rhodes. We did manage to take Rhodes uh, with Ariathus, one of our other great commanders over this way. And he is going to continue. And I've been thinking about this a little bit. I think the main thing that I want to do first before going up to Cappadocia is, first of all, secure Crete. Definitely want to do that because that's going to make us very rich as well. And I think it will be safe from attack. The AI doesn't tend to do naval invasions too much. 
Um, as well as uh, pretty much clear up the Ptolemies' influence over here. I think they only have four more settlements. Uh, but four more that we would like ourselves. And that just means that the Ptolemies aren't going to be around this area, blockading our ports, all that sort of thing, uh, for a little while. Now, with the money we've got, I am going to buy a Byream as well, just in case. I don't want to be fully destroyed if a Ptolemaic Navy or Rebel Navy hits me. Uh, but I do have a spare navy over here, and I think I'm going to go and have a look for that settlement. Because yes, I really would like to know where it is. Oh my god! What is going on here? Um... Oh, these poor guys. They, you've got boats, AI. You can use the boats. You can use the boats. <laughs> Looks like they've got about eight family members <laughs> on this island. Well, we've got one. Um, two... Three, four, five, six, seven family members on this island of Naxos. Um, yeah. Interesting. How are they doing on their other island, which I think is this one? Okay, they got the... Oh, there it is. Delos. They're not doing as badly on Delos, so that's okay. We've also got this island, and then is there one over here? Oh, Pergamon has that. So maybe we're only looking at three different areas in which the... Uh, sorry, and, the, and, the, uh, and these two. So one, two... Yeah, it's still four. It's still four. Uh, what I expected. So I think we'll go for Kos first. It's the closest. Then up to Samos. Then we'll go for Delos, and then we'll go for Naxos. Uh, so that will be the priority. Then we'll jump onto Crete, see whether we can take Crete with the remaining army that we have, which is quite experienced now, but quite bloodied. So maybe after these four, we'll send it back to Sardis for a little bit of training. And we were we not recruiting some people in Sardis? We are sending this guy forward so that he can uh, man these cities as well, which is great. Uh, but yeah, once we've done that, we will definitely uh, take our eyes to northern Anatolia, which we have to uh, secure all the way up to the mountains in the north. And we do, as, a, as I said, the next priority then, which we have going for us, is taking this army from Alexandria Ariath uh, Ariana and going north and trying to take on Bactria a little bit. Having a bit of back and forth with Bactria, I think, will be very important here. Parthia, I mean, Parthia have been, has been kind of not really very aggressive against us. I'm assuming that's because they're probably at war with Bactria as well. But I really don't want to take on Parthia at all. Uh, they, I mean, killing them wouldn't be too hard because they've only got a couple of settlements. But yeah, not not the not the enemy we really want or need in the north here. We don't have the ability of getting good troops. So yeah, it's really not the enemy we want or need up here. We really just want to focus on Bactria. So that's all our sort of uh, priorities sorted now. I thought I'd go through that so you guys know where we're aiming for, where we're heading. Uh, whether they all happen or not, I don't know, but we shall see. I'm not really too fussed about taking Bactria and land. It's so far away and so isolated that it's... Not much of a problem, so yeah. But it, it would be nice to have this area anyway to kind of re-conquer re, uh, Alexander's legacy. So let's end the turn. We are at the end turn point, which is good. Ah, this is what I was worried about. He's got, another, he's got two navies there, so we're going to be very, very, very careful, guys, uh, looking at that. Incredibly careful with our armies on our single boat, our single lot of ships. Um, but yeah, that's that's going to be slightly worrying. So taking the smaller hops, it's definitely going to be something we want to do so that our ships can be safe uh, with the people on. Because <laughs> otherwise, we're a bit screwed, aren't we? And that's never good. That is never good. So let's have a look. We had no, uh, no rioting last turn, which is great. Uh, Artemis the Handsome has come of age. Art oh, sorry. Artemios, the handsome. He's quite decent, actually. Good uh, good influence. Not as much command, uh, but I think some of these areas were having a little bit of problem with public order, were they not? Got a case on. No, everywhere looks pretty happy. I'm not too sure what we want to do with you, though, because pretty much everywhere has a general. How about up here? 
Oh my god, literally everywhere. Oh, Sardis doesn't even have a general, so... Yeah, I guess you're gonna be the governor of Sardis. The, big, the, the biggest and most important city in this region, and I, I haven't put a governor in there. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well, that's great. And um, we've got a few expanding cities. Jerusalem as well, fantastic. We've got to keep pumping our economy. Can't go full military now, and that's the beauty of uh, RTR Imperium Serectum, is just like that... Economy is always there. It's nagging at the back of your mind. You can't just go straight for armies um, easily at all. Oh, look at Kiros. They actually died. I think... Just get that just in case we have to build something. And then let's have a look around this region uh, in our most economically dependent region for things that we want to improve on economically trying to avoid the elite tax buildings like we've said i think it's time to start getting a few of these trade centers up and running uh, as well as the paved roads in this region but ba babylon's not currently building i think we go for the great agora uh, and then apamea let's go for the market there that's definitely going to help us with our economy let's actually have a quick look at what that brings 120 for a 1,920 building is actually fantastic. Nearly a 15 turn return there. That that is that is absolutely superb. That is something we want to go for completely. Now we do have two little boyos out in the desert, and we're going to keep them moving. They're going to come to Alexandria and um, sorry Memphis, and they're going to govern down this region. Although one of them is already. Oh, wait. I thought he had gray hair. He, has, he actually has white hair as a 17... They both have white hair as 17-year-olds. They must be from the same lineage then. Now, this guy is looking around for settlements. Trying to find the settlement that's out here, because there definitely is one. Uh, but, yeah. Try and find the settlement out there. Now, armies-wise, where are you going? You are going to Tanis so that we can move this cavalry out. I think we can probably do that even without... Yeah, we can. <laughs> you guys are going to Alexandria for retraining. We're getting our full army together. See whether we can get them retraining. Then we've also got these guys in Memphis. And I'm willing to take the risk on losing Memphis. 69% nice. Uh, but hopefully they don't revolt. Hopefully they don't revolt. But we shall see. We shall see. Is there anyone we want to recruit in here? We are recruiting some of the Akontistai. But I think... Okay, that's all I can uh, all I can afford right now. So maybe yeah, let's go for the Akontistite. Keep that going. Now in the north, where's the map? Yeah, I've gone the completely wrong direction. Oh well. Now whether we need these two guys, I don't know. We've got six archers there. If I take them out of here though, is it going to rebel? That's the one question. No, not quite. Good. And then the other question is whether Alexandria Ariane will rebel. So I'm going to get another Akon Sistai there. Uh, and then here as well. No, we'll be okay. We don't need any more than that up here. We can see the uh, Bactrian army up here. So let's uh, keep coming forward. We know where their capital is. Bactria Zariaspa. Yeah, Zariaspa. Uh, they do have a settlement nestled up here somewhere. Because I have played them. So there's like... Four, five major settlements in this little thing here. And I, I will have assumed that they will have gone through the mountains for these settlements as well. But I'm not sure. But as I say, f episode 15, we will do a toggle fog of war so we know what's going on. Uh, and we can see a little bit more. It's obviously when you've not played uh, a region of the map, it's hard to remember where everything is. So, yeah, it's good, uh, it's good to have that toggle fog of war. It, it's, you know, it's... I wouldn't have it on <laughs> all the time, obviously. Uh, but toggling it back back and forth every five episodes, I think, is fine. Uh, it's not really cheating uh, at all. Uh, especially when you don't know where things are on the map. Right. We've got you guys. You guys, we need you to come onto roads, potentially. Uh, how are we doing for building here? Not building anything. Uh, that's okay. Not too bothered by that. Let's have a look. Only losing 469 to corruption. Doesn't seem like a little bit, but it it is quite a lot. So we'll get a shrine to Hera there. That should help. How much is that 
So 74 from that Shrine to Hera. And it costs 275. It's going to pay for itself in pretty much four... Um, no, f yeah, four turns. Four turns it's going to pay for itself. More than have paid for itself. So the rest of you guys... Could I leave Rhodes? My lord, my lord. Um, you... Get in there. No, we're going to need two for Rhodes, it looks like. Get it back in there. Ah, that will help. Uh, the temple will solve it. Ah, God. Didn't realize that we wouldn't be able to move. And our boat is also a bit locked right now. There's nowhere we can go that's safe. I was hoping we could get onto Kos straight away, but it doesn't look like that's the case. We probably will get destroyed by that navy. Uh, that navy over there. That's not going to be great. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be pushing through a few turns at the minute because we're kind of in that transition where we've, uh, you know, pushed really, really aggressively against a lot of these places. And now we're kind of regrouping and trying to push again uh, up here in Bactria and down here, down the Nile. First of all, we need to retrain our whole army up this way, which is going to take a few turns to do. So, yeah, we'll keep going. And then we've got another guy in there. That's fine. Fantastic. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming we'll have some rebellions next because I'm pretty sure I've been building quite a lot of the Greek uh, culture buildings, which do really hamper your public order. But, yeah, we, we, we'll see. We really need to find a Greek area and kind of build on the Greekness from there, if that makes sense. <laughs> like, Alexandria would, agree, would be a great one to sort of build out Greek uh, Greek buildings from, uh, the Greek colony buildings, because it is Greek, uh, as we can see. It's 100% Greek, in fact. There's nothing else that's affecting it, and all this region is Greek. So, you see, that's Greek. This is Greek. So, we need to try and get uh, Gaza Greek. Uh, you can see it already has 5% um, change capacity. That That's a weird way of saying uh, conversion strength, but okay. 5% <laughs> change capacity. Yes. Oh, God. Christmas has been long. <laughs> right. Uh, now we have these guys. I'm gonna... Ooh, we can't actually retrain the Zistaphoroi. Is there anywhere we can? That is the question. It looks very unlikely, but... Wait, why can we not build the next level of stables? What do I need? F oh, no, I am building the next level of stables. Ah, there we are. Now we can uh, retrain them after this turn. So let's retrain all the infantry we can. And the Prodromoi, I guess. As well as... Getting, I'm going to get another Chalka Speeders in there. We'll recruit a few more Chalka Speeders uh, as we're going along. So that we've got a couple of stronger sort of armies. Now, guys, yeah, let's keep you moving. Memphis is a little bit unhappy now. Slightly unfortunate, but it's going to be. Can we recruit a... Yeah, we can recruit another Akantistai. That's going to be fine. Uh, you're plenty happy. Memphis is on, is on low, isn't it? Uh, and like I said, we have gone through and made every single settlement low, which is great. Now, let's go... So, that's this region sorted. We're retraining. Good. Now, let's go up to the north. Let's see whether we can finally move our boyos across. We can. Fortunately, I don't know whether our ship can get to safety. Please get to safety. Oh, no. Ah, oh, well, uh, just come back this way. <laughs> you, my friend, we're going to leave you in there. That's going to be a nice, safe port to, to do our jumps across here. And it's quite close. It's closer than Rhodes is anyway. So we are sieging down Kos now, which is good. Uh, we are the most advanced faction. Good. Fantastic. And we have a bit of a construction report. Yeah, Colony 2 at Anazabos, for example. Yeah, we're only on 10% there. So we need to build out from a Greek area. That's the main thing. Um, yeah, definitely. 
So we need to have a look at that when we are building some of those Greek buildings. Yeah, like, we only have level one colony Greek. Oh, wait, Nippur is Greek. That is great. So, yeah, let's uh, let's have a look. Greek, 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 Greek. Anywhere that's not Greek around this region. Yeah, down here in Taioki. Cool. And then going north. Oh, these are all Greek, bro. I didn't realize that. I thought a lot of these wouldn't be Greek. Okay, this is the area now where we need to have a look at building some of the Greek conversions. So if we build you there and there, and then potentially... Well, Nikophorion is already Greek. Just about. Native Greek. And then, like, Edessa would be another good one. Oh, we already have native Greek there. So we really need to get these two Greek, and then it'll bleed into this region. So that's great. Now let's have a look at where we're not building up near our main, uh, main hubs up here. So, yeah... Could go a bit further with the conversion because it is equal. I think we will do that just in case. But yeah. Right. You're all building. You're all building. Nippur is not building. Cool. Let's uh, let's build something. Crop rotation. Definitely a good choice. Uruk. Let's also go for the crop rotation. How much money is that bringing in? Not too much, actually. Not too much. But it's nothing to sniff at. That's the thing. Uh, but you can see the market definitely is better there. Uh, Alexandria Charax. No, there's nothing there that's going to bring us money, apart from the elite tax, which we don't want to build. Uh, Seleucia Hadaiphon. How about Taoki? We've not really built down here for a long time. I think we need to definitely get the trader in Antioch, Antioch Persis. Harmosia. Let's... Hmm. Uh, we can convert this actually to Greek, so I'm going to go for it. I might as well... Might as well. Oh, we can build a uh, port over here. Another shipwright. It actually has no trade routes right now. Really, you've got not anything to trade with. Surely you can trade with yourselves. That's what I don't get. Why are you two not trading with each other? Hmm, interesting. I guess we need a few more ports. So there's no point building that port then. Let's come up uh, and across. So Is isn't building. Let's build something in Is. Is is Greek still as well. Yeah. Let's go for the trader. Can't believe you've not got that already. What about Dura uh, Europos? Let's go for Inland Trade Center. How much does that bring? 411. Great. Thank you. I'll take that. Uh, Nikophorion. Let's go for the Inland Trade Center. It's not going to be as much here, is it? 30. Yeah. That's not worth it. Then let's have a look over here, potentially. You can see that it's all different culture over here. 6,000 still. I'm going to have a look at potentially building something in these areas because they are very, very wealthy. Very much worth it. Roads would definitely be helpful at our Sinnoh Clisma. Now, roads. Let's think about building up this way. Uh, let's go for the vineyard. And then Sardis, I need to keep up, uh, upgrading the military buildings. So let's go with the large temple of Hephaestus. That'll be great. So you're there. And then let's go up to the far north where we are gathering our army. Which can't even fit inside the town. <laughs> let's get you guys across. There we are. Uh, and then, yeah, is it this turn we can upgrade these weapons? We can. Yeah, not quite got enough money. We wouldn't have been able to do it all anyway. We didn't have the space. So we'll do that instead. So spy. Oh, hello. Wow, that's actually a pretty decent army. These Bactrian Chalka Speed, as you can see, are very good. 40 defense. That's a really good army. Like I say, because this is a bit of a transition episode, whether there'll be a lot of uh, battles, I do not know. But there's that. Uh, that's Kauris, and we've got Oxiania. Now, there's one here. That's still Bactrian, so it's... it's uh, is that it? Or Chowder Charter? See, I, don't re I really don't know whether to go for Nisa and just see whether... Let's go north. I know because I've played as Parthia a couple of times. There's a settlement up here. 
Um, I don't know whether to just go for Nisa and hope that the uh, Parthian armies will come and uh, descend upon us uh, while we try and defend Nisa. And then go for the next uh, Parthian one. But I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Right, let's end the turn again. As I say, whether there'll be any battles today, I'm not sure. But I shouldn't really be apologizing for that because <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. We've got no one on board, so it's okay. At least we've... Oh. Both my ships are killed. God damn it, bro. <laughs> I shouldn't really be apologizing for the lack of battles, because looking at the analytics, guys, you actually prefer there being less battles. Okay, they've gotten four there. Uh, Alexandria Ariana? Is that, is that it? Uh, I can't remember its name. Um, but yeah. It, uh, yeah, you guys prefer actually the campaign than the battles. There's big spikes after battles and big dips going into battles, so... <laughs> I should never really apologize for the lack of battles, seeing as you guys prefer this campaign management sort of style. Artemita, do like to play the battles, though, of course. Uh, it's definitely... Uh, it's great fun, especially on this mod. A Riches faction of Pergamon. Pergamon has, has still been our little bitch for this whole time, uh, which is mad. Of course, get the generals done. Ink. That is more important than the uh, s than the uh, skirmishes. It's quite a weird army, this one, but it, it is geared to fight Parthia more than Bactria. I don't think it's going to be too underpowered, honestly, against Bactria. What is that, by the way? Antioca Margini. Okay, yeah, it wasn't Alexandria. Right, Isonian. We want to build up here. Build a land clearance. That's so cheap and can give us a lot of money. And I think we go for the paved roads, definitely. Try and move in this region a little bit better. Right, let's have a look across at Kos. Yeah, of course we're not going to do that. 18. Enslave those boys. Right, yeah, they can build ships. We need ships. Ships is helpful. <laughs> ships is helpful. Good words. Let's get the triremes this time. I'm going to spend a lot of money on ships. Because we need to get a bit of a navy together. So, Costo, let's have a look at what we've got in here. Yeah, of course, we've got one of these. Get rid of it. These are all going to be fantastic settlements to take because of the extra trade as well. Like we've talked about, these coastal settlements, these island ones. They are fantastic. And I think we'll go for a shrine to Hera. Get rid of some of that 590 corruption. That is a lot of corruption. We got a couple of town grows with that as well. Great. There we are. Fantastic. Ariathus, this. Oh, I can't speak. Ariathus got a veteran warrior. Fantastic. Very good. Now, militarily wise, we're going to focus on retraining first. Retrain all that guy, all those guys. Auto sort these boys. Let's get this, these guys out. So then we've got space for these boys. And, of course, retrain all of them. In fact, take you off. And let's get another Chalka Speeders. And we're going to have two armies here pretty much ready very soon uh, to do all our dirty work in this region. Let's get some more Theroperoids. Yeah, we very much focused militarily there. Spent most of our money on retraining. Uh, but that's that's fine. It needed to be done. It needed to be done, didn't it? Sardis, though, we need to start training up a couple more troops, I would say. This army needs retraining to start with. We, of course, we can't retrain the Agira Speeders. They're still alive, though, which is great. It does need more cavalry, really, doesn't it? It's not a great cavalry uh, army, uh, but we can't get any cavalry here. I'm going to have to get the Hippodrome, which would be great. That's fine. Now, let's have a look. Just build something random somewhere else like that. And then let's end the turn again. Ah, yeah, we had that settlement over there. Got spies moving around everywhere. Oh, we saw the uh, the um, settlement in the desert there. Cool. Fantastic. We're trying to go through these quite quickly, these turns, because obviously there's not much happening in them. So, yeah, trying to get through them quite quickly. But, look, we have rioting there in... Is it Iopi? Iopi? I can't remember. 
I can't remember. There's so many settlement names. <laughs> IOP. IOP starts rioting. Yep. That was a joke. Or at least an attempted one. We're back on 70%, so I, I can't see it being an issue for too long. 27-year-old husband. I'm going to take that. Can't stick our nose up uh, at anyone uh, for governing cities around this region. Oh, we've got a Theroparoi as well. You can go and join the fun over here. I think we've got enough now for two armies. So let's uh, start with Antioch Antiochus Sota. And you're going to take these guys. Got a nice bit of experience. Then we'll probably take the Chalcospedes as well. At least four of the Chalcospedes. Uh, I don't know whether we need a full stack to go down the Nile, but it definitely will be helpful. So get those guys, sort them again. And now, yeah, we'll take the archers and the slingers, as well as the Acantisti. Although, yeah, the Acantisti was going to man the city. But they can man some cities down there. And then we'll take four of the uh, Zistaphoroi. And that is... Another full stack ready to go. Let's just uh, leave that off the side for a second. And first one, you're going to go for Arsino Croca... The Crocodiles... Crocodile Town. We'll go for that. And then what do we have left over? Actually, quite a lot with these Theroparoi coming through. That are being uh, trained. And of course, yeah, we're retraining those boys. Retrain them. And then let's go for some more Chalka Speeders. And then, of course, we want some Zistaphoroi in there as well. Any recruitment options over this way? Not really. So keep going with the Theroparoi. And we'll keep recruiting. Uh, uh, yeah, just one more. And then we'll get three more Zistaphoroi. And that'll be a really nice army to then take down to Raithu. And then we'll go north, sail it north, uh, to fight Cappadocia. And going to that northern region. Yeah, so there we have Palmyra, which is actually in the vanilla as well. I want to keep coming down this region, see whether there's any borders or anything. So there is a border there. So there must be something in this region. But I probably will just be marching through the desert for generation. <laughs> now, you guys, so one of you is going to Memphis. To take your own route there. Oh, you actually could get all the way to Memphis. That's pretty crazy. You need to go north. You are going to man Alexandria. Cool. That's great. Uh, so Antiochus on the way down. That is... So rather than taking... I know he's the better commander. And using him for the rest of his life just down in this region. Uh, that's so far away from it, all the rest of the action. Might not be amazing. <laughs> use, min-max use of my general, but Antiochus's whole life has been dedicated to fighting the Ptolemies from since when he was born, really, since as soon as he came of age, it was his job to fight the Ptolemies, and he, look how much land he has taken in his lifetime. What a beast of a commander. He has taken from here all the way south. He's taken the great jewels in the Ptolemaic crowns up here. All these regions. And it's his whole goal in life is to fight them. And he blames them as the reason for his death of his father. And of course he blames them as the reason for the death of his grandfather, of course, with evil Kraunos. So, yeah, he really does want to fight them. Please tell me we can train some more Akontistai. We've gone kind of the opposite way now uh, in terms of training. We managed to delete a lot of troops at the start. And now, to keep the public order in a lot of places, we're having to sort of re-up the training of the troops. Which is, is kind of concerning because that just snowballs uh, through our economy. Alright, well, uh, let's have a look at some of these places that have up got upgraded. This one's right on the border. Thinking we'll go for the walls, get a bit of extra law anyway. Alexandria Prosphasia. How are we looking culture-wise? We could actually be converting this place to Greek. So let's do it. It's going to cost a lot, but let's do it. <laughs> right, all you guys over this way. Yeah, you've all been got your armor upgrades. So Seleucos is 43. Uemi's 
I think we leave... Uh, I mean, he's our own... Uh, no, he's cavalry. We need him. Um, so let's leave behind that guy. Is that enough? It is nowhere near enough. How many Akuntistai do we need? Can we take an Akuntistai or not? Not really. That's kind of concerning, honestly. I'm going to keep four units in this settlement to keep them happy. Right. Let's go up and fight Bactria. I believe they will attack us this turn. So we might get a battle. We might get a lovely battle. But yeah, it'll just be them attacking us. So cool. Yeah, a lot of these regions starting to become quite unhappy, as you can see. And when those generals die, that's what's going to be kind of scary. Now, over this way, can we move our troops now? I wonder whether we've got enough movement. If I leave Kos, can I leave it? Yep, still happy. Please tell me we can get off. This guy's going to be a bit of a sacrificial lamb as a ship. Wait, we have an, an army there. Molon. You go join them. You can actually come back. That's pretty good. Get all these guys moving. So we've got a bit of a navy. Not a huge amount of a navy, but a little bit of a navy. <laughs> right, fight Molon. Now fight. Uh, now go for the, go for the uh, settlement of Samos. Cool. Fantastic. I'm glad uh, Pergamon took that. Or did they have it from the start? I can't remember. But I'm glad they took it. Well done, Pergamon. You're doing well. Now, we do need some more Akantistai in this whole region, honestly. Where's the best place we can recruit Akantistai down here? Pretty much nowhere. <laughs> nowhere! Right. Get some Akantistai in Amphion. And then we can uh, use them to man these cities. Because we need, we do need uh, to man them somehow. <laughs> Definitely. Right, you're moving. You're moving. So we've done the north. We've done the Aegean. And we've done Alexandria. So that is all our troop movements. But you can see, instantly after I retrained that army, we lost 8,000 a turn uh, in, in profits there. It's gone. Oh, God. Yeah. It's a lot gone. <laughs> Makes me kind of scary. I think that settlement's more to the left near the, uh, near the, what do you call it? Ah, I can't speak. The, the lake. <laughs> the sea. Oh, God. Um, that army will fight to the death. I don't know why they will fight to the death. And apparently ours won't, but ours definitely will. But there's no way we win this unless Bactria does something stupid like gets their ram burnt again. But we shall see. I'll see you on the battle map, guys, for a tiny, tiny battle. <laughs> Here we are. This battle is inevitable, but victory hangs in does. the Act like Sans of Achilles. Um, victory will be within our grasp. I don't think victory is within our grasp unless those... Uh, those rams get destroyed so yeah i mean we'll try we'll try but if their ram the only way we win is if their ram gets burnt isn't it so let's see speed it up it's probably going to be very short uh, and we will of course fire at will at all of these guys come on burn the ram send back to your packing come on burn it oh it burned it did burn ha <laughs> oh what a glorious, glorious victory! Glorious! Very hard, hard one. Ah, oh, thank you, Bactria. Thank you for that once again. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the campaign map after that non-entity. Here we are. Interesting to see. I, I think they did get fully destroyed. I don't know why it was doing that. There must be a reason. Why would they be fully destroyed there? When they could escape. Unless they couldn't escape. I, I I don't know. Yeah, you can see. Look at this civil disorder we've got going on now. Our culture conversion scheme is really, really starting to hamper uh, some of our lands here. So, Korakizion. Is there any way we can make you happier? What if you left C-Day? 
Oh, actually, you don't... Ah, you got no influence. You're such a useful governor. Great. What a great guy. <laughs> Get another suitable husband, definitely. Uh, and you are... Up here. Right? Yeah, you're in there. It's okay, because these guys are all getting old now. So, it's actually quite useful. In fact, probably send you across to join the army. While we're here, now a lot of you have been saying build watchtowers. And I do want to build watchtowers, but... They cost a thousand, guys, and that is a lot, a lot of money for a watchtower. So, yeah. Uh, I don't want to build too many. Do I just go for Nisa? But I'm, I'm, tr I'm thinking now that last time when we went for it, maybe that army wasn't an actual Parthian army, but more a scripted army. That, now that would be slightly scary, because we'd have to fight that scripted army again. And then we might lose that whole army. Um, yeah. I don't know. Athenodorus. Anywhere around here that doesn't have a general. <laughs> I think everywhere pretty much does. Uh, uh, Korakision. I, I, we'll send you over towards Korakision. Where were you? Yeah, let's send you over this way. See whether you can actually make a difference. You do have two management, but no influence. So I don't think you will actually make a difference, but oh well. Cool. Who's the most advanced faction now? So look here, we got the army barracks. I was thinking about, yeah, I was starting to build an army here, wasn't I? Uh, is that... I don't know whether that's going to be useful. I'm going to have to mull that over between episodes, guys. We are just spending money here for no reason. These guys are actually very good generals. He's only 23. He's got four stars as well. So we've got this sort of army. There is really very little settlements down here. There's just one on the coast. There's one here. Alata. We need a bit of a bigger army if we are going to start taking uh, some of those out down there. So, I don't know. Interesting. Right then, uh, yeah, no, I... <sighs> I think it's worth it, you know. I think it's worth it. I think we've got to go for it. Get Parthia off our border. Okay, so... It looks like Parthia may not have actually taken this settlement. Where is it? I'm just being dumb. Maybe it's up here. But they definitely have a uh, Characata or whatever it's called over here. So we'll send the spy over this way. Got our other spy. Let's keep having a look up the valley. I know there's settlements up this way. Yeah. Doesn't look at the amount of trade that's going between their cities. Looks like a very rich region, honestly. Um, yeah. Now let's have a look at Kos. Or Samos. Going to have to siege it down again. Cool. Um, yeah, where were we recruiting those Akontista? Let's recruit a few more. Let's also recruit maybe a couple more of these. So we've actually got a bit of a navy. I know we are just reducing the amount of money we're making, but it has to be done at the minute. We're really expanding our military operation, and, and, and that's going to be a reduction in the amount of money we're making for a couple of turns. But in a few turns, we're going to be making so much money when we start going on that boom expansion again. I think we might have enough. Yeah. Don't need those Theroporoi, actually. We've definitely got enough now for a second army that we can then take against uh, Cappadocia. So, yeah. Definitely going to be worth it. Well, look at that inland trade center. How much money would you make? 154. That's okay. Alexandria, how much would you make? Yeah, that's that's definitely worth it. Let's have a look at increasing the shipyard over here. It says 126, but I never trust that number. I think it's more than that because it creates one more trade route. 
So let's spend a little bit of money in this region building up because it's going to become very, very rich. I don't think that army is going to be too bothered when we attack this one. I think they're going to retreat. But if not, we'll, uh, we'll have to uh, sally forth and attack them. So we moved... Move the army up here. We moved the army on Samos. And we moved the other one, haven't we? So that's great. Now you, my friend, keep on coming down the coast. I think the coast is the only place where there's going to be settlements down here. So let's keep on coming around the coast. Seeing whether it's worth bringing our army down this way. You, my friend, you've moved. That spy's moved as well. And then, yeah, nothing else. Nothing else to do. I don't think. I don't think. <laughs> it's hard to keep track right now. So, let's, yeah. End that turn. Got spies moving still. Ah, yeah, we've got the one down the Nile. He's still not found the settlement that's down here. <laughs> Must be quite far into the desert. But we've got to remember all these tiny little ones if we are to succeed and destroy the uh, Ptolemies once and for all. Otherwise, yeah, we're screwed. Um... Cool. So, free peoples. Get your turnover with free peoples. You don't have many settlements to manage. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Even more than me. Right. Yeah, we, so we have a... Uh, we have Mothis over here. Uh, and there's obviously this other region in the desert there. More civil disorder. Heropolis. Ooh. It's not great. We need some... We need somewhere where we can recruit over this way. Surely we have one. Have this. That's not great. Uh, Deliche. Yeah, Deliche. I mean, Deliche. Oh, Deliche can recruit as well. So let's recruit one more of those. Let's uh, build the second temple of Hera, definitely. Uh, Baroya as well. Yeah, it was this whole region where they all rioted at once. Hmm. Build the paved roads there. Town grows. You're getting a lot of towns growing now. We've not had that much town growth at the start because everywhere was on high tax rates. But yeah, now it's really starting to hit, which is great. Yeah, lots of places built there. Built what they needed to build. We've only got 14,000 left in the tank now. Um, yeah. You join there again. Weird with Rome, how it doesn't allow you to merge those armies, but you have to merge them the other way. Wait, where did I build that other ship? Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I think it's there. Cool. Right then. Samos, we will just auto-resolve this again. Why? Why did... Molan had... Oh, he got mercenaries. I just did that a little bit too quick then, maybe. Uh, Auto-sort this again, please. And attack that. Get rid of those guys. Yeah, zero casualties this time. Awesome. Now, another great city to have. Seeing as it's Greek. That is the beauty of going into Greece, is we're just taking places that are pretty much... Uh, well, well, that are our culture. So we shouldn't have problems with public order, that sort of thing. So that is fantastic. Now, we're going to wait here a turn or two. While I try and move, in fact, no, let's move these two across first. Get in there. Now get them off the boat. And you can get in there. And then that, hopefully, we might actually, yeah, let's bring you back. Let's bring the other one. And then I'm hoping we can just man these places just with one. Uh, one Akantistite, which looks very likely. So we kind of need three in the army to uh, to take these last two. Then I think we go back to Sardis, yeah, and go for retraining. Now up here, big army. Let's go for Nisa. Whether, okay. Oh. Um. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Please! Oh god. Join. Do we have mercenaries? Oh, we do. Let's get the most expensive ones. Sogdian heavy horse archers. Yes, please. I should have probably actually got that other army. 
the other guy filled up with horse archers. And then, yeah, hoped that we were going to have enough to fight them. But that, that really has put a bit of a spanner in the works. But if we can destroy that army, that would be incredible. Now, Bactria does have these settlements. I'm just seeing whether they've taken the one that normally goes to the Sarka or not. You can come across and have a look at Characata. Now, whether the AI thinks they're strong enough to take us on... No, they are They are definitely going to think they're strong enough to take us on. So we can see that this is a, uh, a rebel region now. So that's definitely worth looking at. You've moved. Cool. Uh, and, yeah. You keep going, Antiochus, my boy. Let's go for the ladders. Again, it doesn't really matter. Got a couple turns left. Oh, moving troops, all that sort of thing. Don't know why they come this way. Surely that's slower than going around this way. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, now we've got 12,000 to spend. And I'm going to have a look at spending it down in this region. Try and improve this region somewhat. I uh, don't want the trader there. Jerusalem. We do have a guy in Jerusalem, so... Oh, no. It's upgrading. So, yeah. There's not too much that I really want in this region. The paved roads are definitely going to be useful everywhere. Oh, that's not even got a road yet. Let's go for... Yeah, let's just... Just generic upgrades in this region that are going to help these settlements out. Like the crop rotations, all that sort of thing. You look like you might be ready to rebel. So let's upgrade that temple. Any more settlements around this region? I doubt it. I think it's just desert. So let's come down this way and then get a spy going down this part of Arabia. So then we can see what's going on. Right. Well, before I press that end turn... No, let's press it. And if we get attacked by Parthia, we'll leave it to the next episode. Because that, that's going to be a massive, massive battle. So let's try it. Okay, you've got into Korokasi. Okay, we've got a rebellious settlement. That's what we might use the Seleucid, uh, the Seleucia one for. I think I am going to retreat from this. Okay, it's actually taken a lot of damage. Oh my god, and it's not even that many horse archers. We can definitely win this, but... I I'm still going to retreat. Okay, where did he retreat to? Where did we retreat to, bro? Ah, uh, Pergamon. Come on, bro. Really? You're going to do this? Really? After all this time? After all this time of being my lovely little ally? Uh, it's probably because I've taken those, uh, the Ptolemaic Islands. <laughs> They're like, no, those were ours! Those were ours! <laughs> oh, god damn it. Everything's happened this time. Where did we actually retreat to, bro? Because we... Bro, where are we? Where's our army? What the? Right. Yeah, you're there. Okay. What the? What? What? It gave us the option to retreat and it just killed us. What? I'm so confused, bro. Well, I know we've got that civil revolt. That's fine. Um, uh, I think... I think, I, if you'll allow me this, guys. That's so dumb. Like, I don't know why it did that. But if you'll allow me, I'm gonna reload the autosave. And, yeah. Because that's bullshit. Like, <laughs> it allowed us to retreat and it's destroyed our army. Surely that's not... 
I don't know. Wait. I, so, okay, guys. Give me two minutes. I'm going to reload the autosave and see what the deal is. Right. Here we are back, guys. I'm going to press the end turn again. Um, I normally, obviously, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't normally reload at all, um, ever during this campaign. I haven't done it so far, but yeah, uh, I don't know why it destroyed our army when we tried to retreat there. It's kind of strange because there is definitely a road out. We weren't blocked in by anything. Obviously we're stuck by the movement there because we, we came up against the army. Um, but I only retreated. The only reason why I did retreat was I was thinking they were going to retreat, like, a few tiles. Because we're, we're pretty much at the end of our movement here. To, like, into the mountains. And then we would get a really favorable battle map. But, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments whether you think it was fair to reload there or not. But it's not going to be campaign breaking. But I, I, I want to give you this battle, guys. I don't want to, to you to miss out on this battle because... We retreated and the army blew up, apparently, on the retreat. So, yeah. So, let's press the end turn and let's see whether it takes us to the battle again. Surely it will do. I, I hope nothing changes in the end turn from what happened last time because, yeah. Ah, here we are. So, yeah, the, clearly the, the retreat option is there. And there is no uh, icon saying that if we retreat, we die up here. So, I don't know why that happened, but... Yeah, we're going to save. We're going to save here, guys. And we're going to start next episode with an absolute bang. This could really decide our fate in the north, whether we're going to be victorious or not. Uh, that's going to be going to be good. <laughs> going to be very, very good. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please do like and subscribe. And oh, no battles. Well, I mean, I don't really count that Bactrian battle as a battle. But again, I shouldn't really be apologizing for that. So... We are going to start next episode with a huge battle. Massive battle. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you all again on the next video.